If you apply these simple rules that I'm gonna teach you, there is no competition. It's just a matter of you putting in the work. This is a video about getting started freelancing. The most important message that I have to give you is that congratulations, you now have the skills to code, but you actually are not necessarily going to be successful as a freelancer. And that's because coding, unfortunately, is not enough. Because the second you start freelancing, you are officially responsible for your own success. Nobody's gonna tell you to show up. Nobody's gonna even care what you do. The only person that will care about your business success is gonna be you. I also want you to be aware of the fact that the most useful approach, the most effective approach is a more pragmatic approach. Because instead of staying here where you are and trying to predict what the market wants, I actually want you to go in the river, in the actual market, in the place where all the work happens to see what kind of fish is flowing through the river so that you can then learn the skills that will allow you to catch it. So instead of imagining what people want and looking at reports from GitHub, from Stack Overflow as to which technologies are being used, which are really important, but they don't give you that direct feedback that you actually need. I actually want you to get as fast as you can into a market, which in my experience are freelancing platforms, which I highly recommend you just sign up for as many freelancing platforms as you can. So you can actually see which kind of jobs are available. So you can then adapt and decide which kind of jobs you want and which skills you're actually gonna learn. At this point, I wanna make it clear that developer skills are core. So I'm gonna assume that you have developer skills. I want you to understand that once you have a core set of skills, you should feel comfortable to just go on the market and just put yourself out there. The point though is that you're gonna also have to work on your sales skill. And fortunately enough, the bar is actually set extremely low. And when I mean low, I mean comedically low. I'm gonna introduce you to the most important rule in a successful business, which is that if you care about what the other person wants and you try to give an honest attempt, you don't have to demean yourself, but you give an honest attempt to help them, most people will actually be appreciative of that. So the skill in, in business, especially in freelancing, is to actually have a little bit of empathy to engage with what the other person wants. So instead of asking yourself what you want, which clearly you want their money, you want to ask what they want. It's not that simple. What it's do you want? They want a website. Well, they want to be heard. They want to find a way to reduce their workflow. They want to find somebody that is actually competent. They want to have good communication, they don't wanna be stressed. You wanna engage with what they actually want. The best way I can illustrate this is by doing a little bit of a story time. This video will actually be edited by my editor, which uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to. When I created my job listing, I simply wrote something very, very straightforward, and I'm just gonna read it out loud. And I wrote that I needed a video editor with experience publishing on YouTube. I'm gonna be making web development videos, and then I literally put a couple of videos, like with actual effort, and then I put a video with zero effort, like screencasts, videos that don't really require that much editing. And I also said, I'm looking with an editor that's fast, delivery of the video will be as fast as possible, and the goal is to produce a lot of content. This advice that I'm gonna give you, actually, it doesn't come from me, it comes from somebody else. I remember reading it either on Free Code Camp a few years ago, or on Medium back when it was just started, or maybe on some bulletin board. But the advice was, why don't you go on a freelancing website and you just post a job and you see how people apply to it and you just figure out what's your competition just see what the competition looks like and the answer is the competition doesn't look intimidating at all there is no competition as long as you do what i'm gonna teach you so at this point i've uh, the last thing i wrote in my job posting was please reply with comments related to how you would improve the videos if you don't watch the videos or send me a copy paste of your bio i will scrap your application and so the first candidature, which I wasn't even able to find, uh, was a candidature where they literally wrote, they literally wrote to me, as you requested, I'm just copying and pasting my bio. So somebody that read my job application without paying that much attention, literally just pasted their bio, which is literally what I didn't want. And then you get the most average examples which are these ones. It's just people selling themselves for no reason. People that don't read what you are 
doing and don't engage with the content you are providing, the, the actual thing that you care about. So in my case, the only thing that I care about at this point is, can I find somebody that is competent and did they even bother to watch my videos? That's it. That's all I'm asking. And trust me, I'm not asking that much. I'm asking for like four minutes of their time. That's what I'm really asking. But apparently four minutes are too many because that's what you get. You get, I'm a passionate editor. I've been editing for three years. Basically, they were gonna say, I'm a legend, I'm really good, you should hire me. I have XYZ and XYZ, you should hire me. And then they're gonna send you a bunch of links. And those are the two things that you never wanna do. First of all, you don't wanna sell the stuff that you're doing, because nobody cares. The only thing that we care is, can you do the things that I'm asking you? So you wanna just engage with my problem. My problem is, as I showed in the previous uh, post job posting, my problem was, these are my videos, why don't you give me a tip on how to improve the videos? Why don't you give a comment on that? That's the only thing that I care about. That's the only way in which you're gonna engage with me that I'm gonna accept. Now, obviously, hiring is a function of what the market offers. So if nobody were to watch my videos, if literally nobody watched my videos and everybody just applied blindly, I mean, honestly, I would just change platform, but if that was the case, I would adapt. I would probably end up hiring somebody like that. But the truth is that there's always a couple of people, they tend to be the more professional person that actually spends those couple of minutes. And that's basically how I was able to go from a low rate to a very high rate. It was by giving a little bit, by caring a little bit, that's how I was able to actually engage with this type of people at those types of prices. So this one, I didn't even watch those videos. I just scrapped the application because they don't care about me. So long, partner. This one instead says, I have over six years. You can see my jobs with real fast turnaround. Let's discuss in more detail. Again, super generic message. This person literally don't care. It just dumped a bunch of videos on me, expecting me to engage with them. Like they literally think, like I want you to think about this, this part. The dynamic is that I have to expand the effort to engage with them. But the reality, if you think about anything that you bought, any consumer items that you bought, any service that you bought, anytime you went to the restaurant, your goal is to just swipe your card, spend the money, get the service. So the easier you make it for me to spend my money, the more likely I am to spend it with you. So instead, if you just ask me to have to figure out who you are because you didn't even engage with what I care about, then I'm just gonna scrap you. That's all this, that is gonna happen. So at this point, here comes my actual editor that actually I actually end up hiring. And I would say, at the end of the day, the reason why I engaged with him wasn't because of the first paragraph, which is actually a paragraph that I don't really like because it's a qualifying one. But then the second paragraph actually engages with something that I care about, which was actual success. It's like, we actually got 15K followers. We did interviews, we did analytics. You can check my website, one link, one link for the website. You can see that it's two links, but it's one domain. It makes it clear that that's the portfolio. I went on the portfolio, the portfolio had a show reel and then a few examples. I already knew this guy knew what he was doing. And then instead of just selling himself, he actually gave me advice on the videos that I made. It's like, put them in English, a little PowerPoint-ish, we can help you on that boom, and then he just put one link with the curriculum. I personally wouldn't even use the curriculum. I think it's an outdated technique. I hate curriculums, I just use portfolios. But that said, this is the example of something that would actually end up working. You, it's called offer value, ask for reciprocity. Offer value first, ask for reciprocity later. And that's something I'm gonna be talking to you about in a few videos down the line. I'm working on this huge developer roadmap video that shows every single technology that you can learn and it goes through and scream my lungs out talking about which kind of technologies you could be learning and what you can do about that. So at this point, I hope that I give you an introduction as to what it actually requires for you to become a freelancer. And the answer is that you do wanna work on your skills, but you actually also wanna work on your sales process. And most importantly, you just wanna get in the pool or in the river, you just wanna go to an actual marketplace. So in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you what you truly need to get started and get your first job. And the answer will be to get a portfolio. So in the next video, I'll show you 
how to build your portfolio, what to put in your portfolio, and how long does it take to build a portfolio. So make sure to subscribe. There's gonna be also a playlist. Make sure to put a comment if you have any question on the topic because I'm definitely gonna be answering them. And thank you very much for watching and have an amazing day.